Welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. This episode, we're finally going to get over to aluminum ingots. Previous episode, aluminum solution and aluminum scrap coming out. We have 21 refineries putting out the aluminum scrap. Oh, I should have stayed there. 21 of them putting out 360 per minute. That's 7,560 aluminum scrap. Now, the silica we're going to need also, and I'm just pre-giving the numbers. Ooh, that hurt. 50 silica per minute, and there are... Oh my god, could I even show this off? Uh, let's get up here. 42 of them. <laughs> so, we've got ooh, 2,100 silica coming out. Now, we need... Ooh, uh, ooh, this is looking cool here. Yeah, all right. We need 4,620 aluminum ingots. All right. Now, each one of these are putting out that 360 aluminum scrap, and it's going to be going into foundries. Each foundry requires 90. So that is four foundries per refinery. So 21 times four is 84 foundries. With the 84 foundries, and this is how I double checked my, my math. Oop, how about this one? There we go. 84 times 90 is 7,560. Okay, that's exactly what we're putting out. All right, that math is working. Now, the silica. 75 per minute is required per foundry. Oh boy, here we go. Eight, oop, come on. There we go. 84 times 75. That's 6,300 silica. Minus the 2,100 that is coming out of those refineries. So, 6,300 minus 2,100 is 4,200 silica. Okay, 4,200 silica will be coming out of constructors. And they're going to produce 37.5 per minute. So, 4,200 divided by uh, 37.5 that is 112 constructors. Oh, this project is just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay, 112 constructors at 22.5 per minute of raw quartz coming in. 112 times 22.5, that's 2,520 raw quartz. Um. I went ahead and marked the two pure raw quartz nodes here. And oh, here, you know what? We can zoom in a little bit. There we go. And the two raw quartz nodes, pure nodes, right here. I'm going to belt this one in and this one in here to this facility. Now, each node is putting, can put out 780. And times the four, that's 3,120. We are fine. We've got more than enough. And uh, oh, what was it? We needed, oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Um, 112 times 22.5. They're 2520. Okay. 2,520 divided by the four nodes. That's 630 per belt. We're good. Four belts coming in. The limiting factor will be this 90 per minute for the aluminum scrap. Because now, let's see here. If we go uh, 780 divided by... Oh, no, actually, actually, we won't be able to do 780. We could do two lines of 360 each. So that's 720. Oh, what am I doing? That's just going to be 8, duh. Because this one and this one will 
We combine them both, that'll be 720. So that's eight foundries per row. Oh, can it handle? Yes, and it will be able to handle the Silka also. Okay, that's the plan of attack. Um, we'll work our way over here and we will get the first node. And if I remember right, I think it is that one right there. But let's, uh, I'll show you the path of where it's at. Uh, we might get lost a little bit, but. Oh, birdie. Oh, more, more radiation. Get me out of here. I don't want nuclear yet, but it's coming up soon. Like I've said in every episode, it's going to happen. <laughs> All right. So I've been using this spire coming down here to this river. Oh, come on. Get me out of here. There we go. Okay. Now, if we follow this river. Oh, man. I have, uh, I'm gonna leave these guys here. Uh, I'm not gonna blow them up. Um, I think it was probably if somebody wanted to bring a rail line or more belts or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna squiggly squiggly through them here. Now, previously, oh there we go. Way back in the beginning, I put this here to get some silica and some quartz, and it has been sitting here for oh i don't know dozens of episodes but here's the two nodes pure one and a pure um where is it there there's the waterfall they're going to be going up through there so now i gotta go ahead and dismantle all of this and set up some lifts taking it up there and back to the base Okay, I'm going to go ahead, get this one situated, and I'll show you my solution. I'll see everybody in two seconds. Here we go. First two lines up and running. Belted them up and one hell of a long left. I'm so glad that they did this in a, in a previous update, being able to put the conveyor belt straight up like that. Yeah, and just uh, had them both coming on through here. Yeah, a floating platform. Uh, yeah, just ignore the floating platform. I'll, I'll, okay, okay, all right. I heard you. There, it's connected to the what rocks. All right, then had them both coming up here, and boogieing along here. Yeah, ooh, oh, there we go. All this quartz, twelve hundred and sixty, on this side. Now we just have to go and get another twelve hundred and sixty from way the hell over there. And it, yeah, ignore the clipping. I'm okay with clipping. Self-improvement, every playthrough, or every episode, I should say. Okay, those two lines are taken care of. Now, we need to get <laughs> and see how close they are to here. And now we got to go over there and get those. Oh my God, just to give you an idea, <laughs> let's fly over there. And um, there we go. And just show you the terrain. Um, I still got to figure out which direction. I'll probably go up through here. Oops, sorry. And tie it into this one. And then bring it along this platform. That's what I'm leaning towards. Just to keep everything uh, tight. Because uh, we're going to have to start exporting this stuff by rail. And uh, yeah. And then I'll probably follow the ground along here. Bring it on through this. And as of this recording, there was an update from Coffee Stains that we're going to be able to blow these things up and no more gas. Ugh. Looking forward to it. Love it. Okay. And then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And I'll tie it right into here. Boom. Bring it on up this. Okay. That's the route. And I'll follow all of this rail line through here. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, man. Yes. More product coming along the belt or in the rail lines here. And there they are. Here they is. Now, oh, I got to turn these down to uh, 630 each. 630. And I will take uh, that one back. Thank you. Now let's go do this one too. Boom. Ah, there we go. Now, just to double check, four times 630, that's 2,520. Okay, 
there it is. Now, to get both of these down there and get the route going. Okay, I will go ahead and lay this out and I'll give you guys another uh, quick view of what it's going to happen. And then we're going to go out to laying out 80, no, 112 constructors putting out silica. Oh, geez. Okay, I'll see everybody in two seconds. That went a lot faster than I expected. Uh, it was pretty easy. It was uh, nice and relaxing. Um, so let's go ahead and hook up these guys and get them going. And one thing I forgot to check was to make sure because I had to reposition them. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, uh, I forgot to... Oh, not that many. Uh, let's get uh, 630. There we go. And... We'll get 630 on this one. Um, pink. There we go. Four lines. 630 each. Push. Nah. Whoa. Come on. Get up there. There we go. And. Yeah. Did bring him just along here. And. Let's see how this works out. Yeah. Oh, man. Cool little graphics they got on them. Yeah, just coming in between the rail lines like I've wanted to before. Um, and, you know, I, I'm liking how this turns out because I can just belt them if I have to or set up another station. And, of course, I've got them going down below here. And, oh, there we go. Ooh, I wonder if we can get up there with one. Oh, well, I guess I accidentally hit flying mode. Okay, we'll continue on with it. So yeah, we'll get through all this gas. Yeah, uh, just coming along here. There's the uh, one of the coal pickups going back to the steel works where the former coal generators used to be. Yeah, just followed the power lines on back through here. And again, ignore the clipping. I wanted to cut down that tree, but I was like, no, 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 keep working on it. Just self-improvement here through this uh, series. Yeah, I just brought it all along here. Then, of course, here we'll get down here. Okay, now here's an old school one. When you wanted to go flying distances, we'd use conveyor belts with the jetpack and we'd launch into the air. We'd set them up at an angle. Oh my gosh. That was... Ooh. That was fun, I should say. Now, this intersection, I'm liking it. Uh, it's just all these conveyor lifts and belts going through here. And I went and made it purposely tight right here with these guys. Okay, now, got the two here and two lines right there. We need... 112 constructors now. Okay, oh, right on cue. Love it. All right, let's double check the numbers here. Now, for you guys, it's only been a few minutes. For me, it's been a while <laughs> checking these numbers out. Okay, let's see, this is the higher number, the 37.5. So if we're going to be using Mark 5 lines, if I can actually remember to pull this up, 780 divided by 37.5. That's 20.8 constructors per row. Hmm. Now. Okay, so that 20.8 times 22.5 court uh raw quartz. 468 per each row is going to require. Hmm. And, oh man, you know, I, uh, see, I was thinking of putting it all together nice and neat. Here, let me get back up here. Just uh, having one big area that, oh, come on, get up. Get, whoa. You know, have like one section of constructors here and then one section of um, foundries over there. Then I went back and forth and saying, well, what if I just set up the four foundries 
and each set of four foundries gets the required rock quartz and the silica, you know, constructors. And um, I'm leaning towards doing that. Uh, kind of doing something like this. Here, let, let's clean this up a little. You're gone. Oh, okay. Now, all right, 75 silica. And we're, if we have four foundries per refinery here pumping out the um, aluminum scrap four times that's 300 hmm 300 silica you know what oh dear god i'm gonna have to start down there at that end bring in this first line nice and tight this way <laughs> and then the aluminum scrap on top of it oh Oh, man. You know what? Let, let's run down here real quick. Because, see, if, if I start here, it's not going to work because the belts have to come in towards us and then flow off in that direction. And I don't know how deep or how many lines that are going to be coming towards us. So, if we start down here at this end and work our way backwards... Oh, man. Oh, geez. And I forgot we're going to have... Oh, my God. We're going to have all this silica, too. Ooh. This 2100 coming in on three lines. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Obviously, I have not... Uh, per I have purposely not been thinking about the layout on this because I just wanted to get this stuff up here. Oh, geez. Okay, so... Um... You know what? Let's go back to the original idea. Oh boy, had to edit that one out. Had a little bit of a cough. So I went and uh, grabbed one of my last few remaining Mountain Dews made with real sugar. So uh, let's crack this puppy on open. Oh, yeah, much better. Much, much better. Okay. Now, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the constructors down and have the raw quartz come in. Okay, if we're going to have four lines of this stuff. Oh, okay. I'm going to play around with this layout a little bit. Oh, man. And this is where I like the flying come in because it gives me a bird's eye view of how to lay this out. Four lines coming in. And if we're going to have constructors, let's put you on number nine. And boom. So if we go this way, you know what? I could put 14. Ah, 14 per line. Oh, we got to get the aluminum scrap out too. Okay, I can put the quartz on a lower level, on the foundation level, and then have the aluminum scrap up above. And then, you know, do something like this. Bring it on up here. Boom. <gasps> I'm out of alclad aluminum sheets. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have to go and get some more. Um, I'll play around with this. And, well, you know what? I've got... Let's see. So, if I take this. Oh, and... Oh, that's right. Uh, press E. And, you know what? So... Just as illustrative purposes, I can have this come up here like this, and then I could have something like uh, this, you know, and then the quartz down below. There, like that. And uh, then take the aluminum scrap there to that far end, and then bring the silica out over there, and then start another row for the foundries finally, and then you know, have, I don't, I don't even know where the train station is going to go to get the uh, sheets and the aluminum casings out of here. And I think we got to ship off ingots out elsewhere. Um, let's see here. Um, ingot. Oh, not in no. How about ingot? And boom. Uh, what do you, oh, they're, they're not going to. Oh, I wish they would tell me what it was going to be used in. Okay. Um, yeah, let me, I'm going to go back, uh, where the hell are they? They're over there. You know what? 
Let's do this. This this episode is mix mat mismatch of everything. Uh, yeah, I can't even talk. Got to have that Mountain Dew click in yet. I purposely have not been restocking this and trying to keep it running and what have you because, um, well, we got we got eighty five hundred in this, yeah, and the other four uh, industrial containers are filled with the Alclad aluminum sheets for the Mark Five belts there we go so i've got these other four right here and i was like oh that that'll take us all the way through until we can get them made up here at our aluminum factory okay so let's do this and boom who knows maybe this episode is just going to be just about uh getting um silica made oh my god all right hmm so if we're going to have for the, you know what, we've got some room, but what if I put, uh, let's, let's see here. Let's go one, two, three, and we'll put the first one like right here. And then we put a splitter going down like, uh, that. Then the first one. Oh no no no! We could have. Oh yeah we. Oh there it is. All right, we'll have the silica, or the silica, the quartz, come along this line right here. Actually, ooh, we're gonna. Need, ooh, damn it. Okay, so if we got one, two, three, four, and we're gonna need uh, two, ten, eleven. Ooh, that's not gonna work. Okay. So we're there's 21 refineries here. One Mark V belt can handle two of them. So we're going to have five and a half. We'll call it six lanes wide. So if we put a splitter starting. Oh, yeah, we can put one. Yeah, we can go one. OK, there's the six. Yep. Uh, six times two. Oh, no, 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 no. Ten and a half. So we're going to need... Oh, my God. This thing's going to be... No, we can stack them up. You know what? I'm going to fiddle-faddle with this a little bit. Figure out whether I want to go vertical like I did with the pipes. And uh, like I did in the steelworks. Or if I want to leave them flat. I think I'm going to go vertical with this layout. Okay, I'm going to lay this part out. And get these constructors going for the uh, silica. And have some more do. So I'll see everybody in two seconds. All of the silica and the aluminum scrap is taken care of. And I brought over a bit of the quartz and just took it down a little bit. But the only line that's going through is this one right here. Now from ground level, what I did is I would just do them, take them up, boom, put them up here and worked its way along. In fact, you know what? Let me jump here to the other side so you can see everything that's happening. Oh no, that's gonna be a lot of jumping. That that oh that'll make me uh, nauseous. Okay, so just brought everything up around, and you can see um, again they just kept on working their way up. There is seven on each one when it finally gets done, and there it is. So we got seven aluminum scrap. If we write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When did things a little bit differently, and. Uh, it went all the way down. Now here on this other side, boom, here's the second line with all seven of them doing their thing. And then there's the third one with seven lines of aluminum scrap. 360 per line and the silica has um, 700 per line and there's just three lines uh, kind of going there. There's one, two, and three. But here on the other side, got them going, and oh man, I stumbled across this view right here. Oh, 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 sorry, didn't mean to go that fast, damn. So yeah, they're, they're a little bit on the wide side here, spacing between, and then they come tight again. Love it. Then, yeah, uh, woohoo! There it is, 21 lines of 360 aluminum scrap 
and three lines of 700 silica. Now, each line of the silica, this is the first one coming in, and I brought it all the way down here just to keep it tight here because we're going to have to have foundries and then assemblers for the um, ingots, aluminum ingots, and then the aluminum casing and train stations to get the stuff out of here. But each one of these lines is 630. Okay, 630 divided by 22.5. That is 28 constructors that one line can handle. So I'm gonna split it into two. One row of 14 and another row of 14. Now with the output of 37.5 silica, 14 times 37.5, 525 each. Um, I messed around with the numbers. I didn't come up with a solution to keep it nice and even with the lines, the inputs and the outputs, and then of course the inputs into the foundry. So I said, you know what, screw it. 525 per line coming out, plus the 300 that are uh, 700 that's over here on these. It's, they're, I'm gonna have to use some smart splitters to divide it off into the foundries, but that's for a future episode. So we were, we're gonna have, was it four lines of 630? And just to confirm this, so we've got 14, that's gonna be 28. So 28 times four is 112 constructors, and that's what we needed. So I'm gonna go ahead, lay this out, get um, eight, uh, 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 awesome sinks and start stress testing it for what little we could oh no I can't even do that because the aluminum scrap has to go be used up so that way those two okay the aluminum scraps coming out of this boom right there well the silica is coming out of those two oh so I have to consume the aluminum scrap to keep those two moving, to stress test these constructors that are putting out the silica. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to stress test this until I get the silica done, and then the foundries put in and plumbed with the belt work. Ooh, okay, well, let me go ahead and lay this out, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll, we'll see how much time I've got recorded so far. <laughs> All right, I'll see everybody in two seconds. One small correction on the stress test. Yes, we will be able to stress test the constructors making the silica because this, the raw quartz is coming from the nodes. It's this silica we won't be able to stress test. But we can't stress test until we get the foundry set up. And then we're gonna stress test it one more time. Okay, well anyway, so let's get this going. And boom. Okay. And why aren't you working? What the hell? Oh, what, what? Oh, man, did I forget to? Oh, okay. There it is. All right. Well, let's get all this in here. And this is why we stress test it. Oh, yeah, that's because I was laying these out individually. And, um,. Instead of using the blueprint, and when I did the first row, I was like, oh man, screw this. I, I am so much doing a blueprint. Okay, and where the hell is all the, oh my gosh. Oh, are you working? Yep, you're working. Ooh-wee! Okay, let's check each row. Everything looks lit up. Okay, the lights are on everything oh yeah for the stress test i did put in boop, boop, eight awesome things oh you know what i haven't done a coupon check in a while let's see here what we got going 103 coupons and climbing all right we're good okay oh look at all that silica okay now question is uh oh Let's uh, let's make sure everything should be pumping away here, maybe, or not. <laughs> you got 
Yes, you got the right one. Damn. Okay. Oh, what do we got? How many is this now that they got filled up? One, two, three, four of them are backed up for now. This guy's slowly coming in. You know what? How many? Is it 100 or 200 per stack? 100 per stack. Okay, it's going to take a while for this to uh, get in there. But, oh, yeah. All that raw quartz. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. All that aluminum scrap soon going to be used. Oh, and what I did is I decided to go ahead and leave what vegetation I could. And yeah, I know. I know some people are cringing. I am too. But again, I'm working on it's okay to clip every now and then. Plus, I think it looks just kind of cool with the vegetation popping up every now and then in the factory. Whereas, oh yeah, like this stuff. It's like, oops, the grounds maintenance hasn't gotten over here yet to clean this up. It will eventually. In the meantime, the factory is still a running. Okay. Now, I decided to bring these eight lines over to here. And then they're chopped off right here at the end. Boom. Then we've got those other three at 700 each. So we're going to have three more lines coming in. And then we've got <laughs> the 21 lines of aluminum scrap um i'll probably wind them up everything up along no 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 i won't no i won't what i'll do is yeah i'll, I'll probably put a foundries going this way because we're gonna have four we're gonna need 21 rows of them i will have to make sure we've got enough room along here for it to work and uh yeah have the aluminum ingots coming out this way shoot them along there They're probably there at the end go over this way and then we'll set up the aluminum ingot and the aluminum casing factories over that way and who knows maybe put the train station somewhere right there but for now i am going to call this a success and in fact where where can i plot my butt how about how about right here on the edge Is that gonna work oh no okay well, let's get my butt back up there. And there we go. All right. Let's ride the rail here. Looking for that sign off in the. Th oh my gosh. Okay. Boom. All right. Let me double check here on this 112. Oh, it's not going to do it. 112 constructors and I did not write down that number let me just double check so we've oh there uh, there it is 4200 silica per minute coming out as soon as this f gets fully saturated and starts doing its thing and I'm a little bit worried because well maybe maybe those belts do look filled yeah they do oh because i was looking at it being split the half of it was going that way and the half the other way okay you know what i think it's time for a break and to get some more mountain dew in fact i with this sign off i'm gonna crack open well not crack open open up again and take some of that mountain dew made with real sugar okay one step closer to project 12 of 4 being complete Still got a ways to go. And oh, we still can't get all of it. You know, it's okay if everything is not in there, but that's pretty damn good. All right, thank you for joining me on this journey in, oh, excuse me, satisfactory. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.